The Japanese have a special term, karoshi, which means this from over war. I suppose no one would like to die of karoshi, am I right? I would ask you to raise your hand if you have a dream, goal, for sweet. Everyone has. And I have the second question. Do you want to give up your dream just to avoid stress? I suppose no. Ultimate measure of our lives is not how much time we spend in the planet, but rather how much energy we invest in the time that we have. But sometimes we can think that we are probably not good enough to achieve what we want. I face to this fear as well as you. But I found the solution to this problem in Tony Schwartz's book. We have four types of energy. Physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. If you can connect with if you can correctly connect all four sources of energy, your life will be much more fruitful. First of all, physical energy. Physical energy is foundation for other sources. And to maintain high level of physical energy, you have to pay attention to proper nutrition, good sleep, and physical exercises. The second kind of energy is emotions. For a full and bright life, everyone needs bright emotions, such as joy and pleasure from communication. I will ask you, don't forget about this aspect when you will tomorrow make a plan for the day or week. This means include social events like this one to your timetable in order to keep high level of emotional energy. The third kind of energy is mental energy. Mental energy helps us to concentrate on solving the most important problems in our lives. In this case, try to keep positive attitudes no matter how difficult the situation is. And also, the work of our brain directly depends on the whole condition of the whole body. And it's especially important to do sport if you have intellectual occupation. The last source of energy is spiritual energy. It's important to understand that in our case, spiritual energy is not about religion or mythology. It's about our non-selfish goals and values. As one wise man said, person grows up when instead of demanding, he or she begins to give. So try to give, try to share, and uh, in this case it will be beneficial rather than being upset. In conclusion, I want to say that health, success, and even happiness are grounded in the skillful management of energy. So use this information, be progressive, be cheerful, and I believe you will achieve all your wishes. Thank you.